Donish, and we're in the middle of this Music Cities conference. So we have Graham Henderson, who's come over for Toronto, and he's presenting this blueprint for how to be a great music city, and he's taking us through step by step, some of which we're doing, some of which we're, we're nowhere close to achieving. And we've also been joined by people from Liverpool, people from London, people from trade industry bodies, people from UK Music, from the BPI, from the British Council, and everybody's chucking ideas around. And it's such an honour that it's here because part of our job is to celebrate the city, to try and be a dedicated music hub for the city. Well, this spring, uh, we debuted a study known as the Mastering of a Music City uh, that is a kind of a, it's a best practices reservoir. We did interviews with about uh, folks in 22 different countries around the world, all in an effort to try and understand what is, what is it that makes a music city different or a city that aspires to be a music city. What, what is it, what's in their DNA? What are, how are they planning? How are they different? It starts with artists and musicians. So kind of begins there. If you don't have that base, then you're probably not a music city. But in addition to that, you need an ecosystem of music friendly businesses. Uh, you need to have uh, a, a live music environment lots of venues, uh, and you need to have an educated, passionate fan base. I think a lot of it's here, like right here in Oya, oh yeah, uh, because one of the things that we talk about is the importance of music education, uh, training. Uh, all those sorts of things are happening here. Plus, uh, I understand that you've got a good base of venues, uh, so uh, I would say I'm impressed. Uh, the Sun of Belfast event runs every year and last year we got a lot of industry advice and that's really helped me on an awful lot uh, to the point where like just last month I released my debut EP. You can find my EP which is called Daydreamer on, you can find it on Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, uh, all the social media outlets, absolutely. Um, I think everyone could benefit um, when, no matter what your genre is or what your band is or what your musical outlook is, there's something for everybody.